We click back on the chart, go to design. We're going to add some, like I said, data labels. And I'm going to pick ones that say inside the end. So that certainly is a total mess. I'm sure you'll agree, um, not something we want to be looking at. So we'll click on the series there. And then over on this side of the screen, you can see we have uh, various options on how we can format this. Now, the one thing that we really need to sort out is the number. At the moment, it's a general format and we could use, um, say, a number format with no decimal places. Uh, if we do that straight away, that's a small improvement. But I actually want to use a custom number format on here. And I pre-entered this custom number format. I want to show something in millions. And the way that you do that is you it put these commas into your um, into the number format and every time you put a comma but put nothing in between it says well I'm not going to show the next three numbers so if I wanted to do the same with thousands and I've pre done this one you could do something like this where you're effectively saying show the number with uh, Add one, just have one comma on the end with nothing after it, which means don't show the last three zero, like the last three digits. But like I say, we're going to use this M1 and the format code of that. Like I say, we've got two commas saying show in millions, but the 0, 0.0 means that we're going to show, you know, one decimal place on that. So that's our format for that. But we also want it to be um, bold. So we can use the main menu for that, maybe up the font size. I think we know we'll color it in white. Now, out of interest, you would think that you'd be able to do a format paint and just click on there. But for some strange reason, it, re it really doesn't work. I mean, it gets the color, but it doesn't get the uh, number format right. So unfortunately, you've pretty much got to do it manually. 